ever been to the Paul Bunyan show and we're really excited. We want to see them like chop everything and um, <clears throat> it's like really fun. We're really excited. But these first time visitors aren't the only ones excited to be at the official Paul Bunyan show. Competitors are too. My name is Derek Dustheimer. I'm 31 years old. I've been doing this for 16 years. Got into it by actually coming to the Paul Bunyan show when it was in Nelsonville, Ohio. I've been, first time I was ever there, my mom and dad carried me around because I wasn't walking yet. So I've been coming to this festival for my whole life. And back in the early 90s, just looked over at dad and said, how about we give this a try? Derek, along with dozens of other competitors, is competing in the Ohio State Lumberjack Competition, one of the highlights of the Paul Bunyan show. You'll see some axe throwing. You'll see a lot of chopping uh, with uh, axes that you don't find at your local hardware store. Uh, and one of the fun events is the hot saw contest, and that's actually where these guys take a regular chainsaw and they'll modify it with an exhaust pipe system like a dirt bike and then uh, they cut about four to five times faster than a normal chainsaw, and that's usually the highlight of the show. Most all these events started uh, back in the early, the early 1900s when these guys would be at logging camps, and they'd have downtime, a day where it was raining a lot, and they couldn't get to the woods and do it. And so, yeah, so they would take their chopping axes and have an axe throwing contest. So that's how that started. You're going to see a two-man cross-cut event today, and this is where everybody's seen the old cross-cut saws that sit in their grandpa's barn. And these guys have modified versions of that. Whereas the old days, they used a cross cut to actually buck and fell timber, and now they use them just to compete with. And they're super fast. A lot of the cross cut saws can actually outcut a chainsaw. We do an underhand chopping event. Now, this is the one that if you've ever seen on TV, they'll chop between their toes. And we always laugh and say, a successful chopper is a guy that still has 10 toes. And all these guys still have 10 toes. Um, but they used to do a lot of that. That was called bucking up a log. The guys would chop between their feet to break a long log in half. These guys are just made a competition. And what they'll do, they actually cut half the log through, and then they turn their bodies and go the other side of the log and chop it until it breaks. First one that has a log break in half is your winner. Well, OK. Certainly, you could see how most of these techniques would have been used back in the 1800s. But what about the hot saw? The hot saw is basically just speed and noise. So it's good for the crowd, just like going to races for NASCAR or IndyCar. So it's, it's all about the speed and noise. The official Paul Bunyan show has other activities besides the Lumberjack Championships. We have, a, a, I'll say, a Lumberjack Entertainment show where they actually exhibit the old log rolling, where the guys get up on a log and try to knock each other off. And that really goes back to the old days where the logs were put on rivers and moved downstream, and the guys had to jump from log to log. Uh, we have timber felling demonstrations that teach people how to fell trees directionally and properly. But the biggest crowds gather to see the extraordinary skills of these modern-day Paul Bunyans. The most important thing for these lumberjacks is precision and speed. They have to be fast and they have to be precise. Every chop, there's a certain way they want to hit. If they miss that certain spot, they have to chop two more chops to get back to that. And you got two different type lumberjacks out there. You have the big bulky guys that look like Paul Bunyan, and then you'll see a lot of guys that are tall and strappy kind of guys that have long arms. And they actually, instead of just raw horsepower, they got longer arms that can generate more speed with their chops and their blows. That throws the action just as hard as a guy that's twice as strong as him. So you got two different style athletes going on here, but it's all about precision and all about speed. And nowhere are those two qualities more in evidence than the Masters competition where the competitors have between them hundreds of years of logging experience. My name is Arden Coger. I'm from West Virginia, and I've been chopping for 52 years. I'm in the Masters events anymore. I used to be with I'm one of the best, you know, cutting. I won about 57 world championships uh, through them 50-some years there. Well, I started as a regular pro in uh, 1968. And from 68 until 97, I competed as a, uh, as a regular. And in that time, I've won uh, 13 world championships. My wife and I have won the world championships of Jack and Jill five times. Wow, that's true. 
won the two-man cross-cut four times at the World Championships. I've won numerous state titles all over the United States uh, and across Canada. Make sure you win your first, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah, congratulations. Strength is a plus if you have it, but the most important thing in lumberjacking is technique. Being able to chop the block the right way. You have to place your hits. When you're chopping, you got to place your hits where you want the ax to go, and you got to make sure that you hit the spot that you're looking at. Because it is dangerous, and axe can slip. So, uh, technique is the most important thing. Whether you come to the Paul Bunyan Show as an old pro or a first-time visitor, you're bound to leave with great memories and more than likely bound to be back. Well, the Paul Bunyan Show is our state championship. And uh, it's something that uh, when we leave here, we start looking forward to next year. It's special because it's a celebration of our forestry heritage. It has the state championships, and it's where everybody goes in the fall. It's just first week in October, you come to the Paul Bunyan Show.